Hey everybody, quick video on how to install a BFT Wi-Fi Pro 2 from scratch. So the first thing we want to do is download the app to our cell phone. So we're going to click on the App Store and we're going to type in Wi-Fi Space Pro. And you'll notice that it comes right up. So we're going to click on Wi-Fi Pro 2. And there it is. And we're going to download. Okay, once it's downloaded, we can open. And we want to be able to send all notifications to the system. So we're going to click on allow. And this is a screen that you would get on startup. Following this little uh, short video, I will go through programming on the entire unit. Thank you. Okay, we've downloaded the app to the cell phone. Now here's the Wi-Fi unit, and we're going to locate the program button, which is located on the inside of the unit. We're just gonna open up this little door, and I'll just move the camera over. And the program button is located on the board on the right-hand side. So we're gonna press and hold this button for three seconds until we get a tone, we're gonna let it go. Okay, and that, put, that puts the unit into program mode. So now if we go to the app, we can start programming. Okay, so now that we have the unit on program mode, we're gonna go um, to my Wi-Fi settings, and we're gonna click on Wi-Fi, and we're gonna look for that Bell ID. Okay, um, sometimes it takes a little bit of time to connect, so have a little bit of patience. Here it is, Bell ID, 006238. We're gonna click on it. It's going to ask us for a password. Password for that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're gonna click on Join in the upper right-hand corner. And that'll join the network. And once it's up and running, you'll see a check mark right next to the bell, which there it is. We're going to come out of this and we're going to go into the Pro 2 app and wait until that boots up. And once again, this takes a few seconds, so have a little bit of patience. Okay, once we have the app, uh, we're going to go to settings, which is the icon on the upper right hand corner. We're going to click on the plus because we want to add an intercom. And we're going to do a search. And once we do the search, it'll find it. There's the Bell ID. We're going to click on that Bell ID. It automatically populates all the information aside from the password. And once again, the password is going to be 12345678. And I click on the check mark in the upper right hand corner. Okay, and right now it's telling me the intercom is online. I just want to double check. So I'm going to click on the camera right next to the intercom. And it's going to open that up, and there it is. We're going to click on End. We're going to go back into programming mode, um, into uh, settings. And it's asking me if I want to use uh, cellular data or keep trying Wi-Fi. Signal's a little weak here today. We're going to go into settings. We're going to click on a Wi-Fi emblem. Um, we're going to click on Intercom 1. And now it's going to look for my access code, my uh, Wi-Fi. It says uh, it's connected to E6B010. And at that point, if it was not connected, um, you would need the Wi-Fi password. So we're gonna back out of here. And back out one more time. And now we should be all set and ready to use the app. So if I click on my camera, camera. there's my app. There's my app. Nice cloudy day here today. And I can click and on can unlock click on and that will open the gate. I just heard the relay click, and we have two separate have relays, two separate uh, relay one and relay, relay two. two. They both, both work, and we're going to click on it. And that's pretty much all there is to uh, setting up a Wi-Fi unit. It shouldn't take more than 10 minutes uh, if the Wi-Fi there is, uh, is up and running, and it's good.